Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today you join us on a drive out with the Drivers Union to Middlewick House for Nick Mason's biannual car show. So we're at a meet here at the BP station at the end of the dual carriageway at junction 17. Um, to meet up to take to take the drive in to Middlewick House. So we're just going to give you a run through of some of the cars that have already turned up. There's going to be a lot more cars arriving here because we're leaving here in about 10-15 minutes. So first of all we've got an F8. We've got a my favourite car in the world, the 458 Speciale in a very interesting colour scheme. We've got a 458 Italia. We've got my 458 Spider. We've got a 430 Spider. And at the end we've got our friend Nick's car Another 458 Spider. So a great turnout, considering the weather, a great turnout so far. Pretty cool. I think we get a lot more cars as well because the Drivers Union are very dedicated and if they say they're going to come to these events and bring their supercars, they do. Rain or shine. Go through the cars that are behind, that are parked behind us. We've got a McLaren 570. We've got a 250 short wheelbase. Now this cannot be an original because this will be worth millions. So it must be a copy. And we also have a Noble here. I'm not quite sure which Noble model this is. So we've just left the meeting point and we're just heading up to Middlewick House now. We've got a hell of a convoy behind us. So we've got loads of the Drivers Union that have turned up, so really great turnout. So if you're watching this video, guys, thanks a lot for your support. Thanks a lot for turning up in the rain. We even had an LP640, I'm not a manual, but a really cool LP640 turn up too. So a hell of a convoy behind us. Um, so it's going to be a really cool event and it stopped raining now as well, so fantastic. We're in Corsham and we're just down this really narrow route which is the one-way system that they set up to lead us in to the, to the Middlewick house. So uh, it'd be very interesting how some of these really wide cars, like there was an L there's an LP640 in our group, um, he was probably really challenged to come down here. Um, it's widened up a bit now but it's a very, very narrow route so very interesting if there's any LaFerraris and such like coming down this route. So we just parked up with our group now so this middle section is all our group from the drivers union um, this is the field so this is nick mason's middlewick house um, land this car park will be full this field will be full so we're early yet it gets really congested on this way in apparently it was about an hour an hour and a half wait in the queues in in that road in that lane um, later on yesterday because this is a two-day event um, for people to come in and to get into the actual parking area so yeah, some pretty cool cars arriving. We're going to get parked up, um, and then we'll walk around and we'll show you the actual cars at the event, and maybe we'll even get to meet, meet Nick Mason, who knows? So we're here at the car park for Middlewick House. Nick Mason's mansion, pretty much, and his helicopter is over the other side. We're allowed in at 11 o'clock, so while we're waiting, we're going to cover off some of the supercars out here in the car park. So here we've got the F8 that we spoke about earlier at the collection point. If you look at this car, it's got the carbon fiber wheels which can be a bit of a pain in the backside because you knock these carbon fiber wheels you've got to replace them so beautiful to look at but a pain in the ass if you knock them very expensive um, option as well here we've got the 458 speciale that we sp spoke about earlier 430 spider interesting number plate on the 430 spider pretty cool and lovely inspection areas always on the 430 even though it's a spider because it's a soft top so come along here 458 italia you look you've got the lovely inspection area that you get on the Italia versions that you don't get on the spider moving further down we've got nick's 458 spider unfortunately it's got the cremer interior but you can't have it all 
bit of a joke that we always have. As you come down here, we've got a beautiful GT3 Touring. Now, if I was going to buy a GT3, this is the version I would have. This is a stunning version of the GT3, and in my opinion, the better edition because the main difference between this and the and the and the um, and the standard GT3 is it doesn't have a wing, and I much prefer them without a wing. So the GT3 Touring, in effect, the standard GT3 but without a wing, much cleaner lines, looks really cool. Toyota Yaris. Don't need to mention any more about that. People know what that is. GT3 RS, again, if you look at here, you've got the wing. GT3 Touring, cleaner lines, in my opinion. Moving further down. Not quite sure what this is. Some form of a kit car, I think. Um, Porsche GT4. Another GT4. GT4 Cayman, obviously. We've got the GT4 Cayman RS, which is out now, which is a very much sought after car. Here we've got 488 Pista. Pista, Coupe G or GTB as they say. Um, here we've got uh, a Lusso, gives it away with a number plate. Audi R8, Aston Martin Vantage. Here we've got the 488 in blue Corsa. It's got a similar look to Electrico. So we've just arrived in at, Middlework, uh, at the Middlework House area. We've got in a bit early and we're just gonna run you through some of the cars before the main crowds come in. So here we've got the 250 short wheelbase. This is worth multi-millions. Here we've got Nick's F40. Look at the number plate, MPG. Here we've got an F1 GTR. This is uh, an astronomical car. This is worth multi, multi millions. So I shouldn't, shouldn't really say how much they're worth, but this is a very, very special car, the F1 GTR. As we come here, we've got some old cars on a, um, to the side here. I'm not quite sure what these are. 10 tenths, 1931 Bentley, 4.5 litre Vanden Platora. Don't know much about these old Bentleys, but I'm sure it's a very special car. We move along here. This is a really cute, really, really cute. Um, another 10 temps. So this is a really cute little car. Fraser Nash, 1949 Fraser Nash Le Mans replica. So just gonna show you some of the logistics of the area we're in. This is of quite a small section where these cars are located, where these cars are being advertised, or where the cars are being shown. Um, if you look over here, this is the main parking complex. It's segregated by like a little moat section in between, like a little ditch. If you move, obviously move to the right here, you've got Nick's helicopter. So this is, this is where, I don't know where he, where he parks his helicopter normally in this area, I suspect not, but um, <clears throat> it's parked here now for sure. How cool is that, eh? We can fly a helicopter into your house. And moving to the right, we've got a 365 Daytona. So that's a proper model number for these, of course, 365 with uh, some very interesting livery. Actually, this has um, got some interesting tuning panels on the top, so it's probably a very special version. Now, this is a 1972 Competizione, so it's a Daytona Competizione, so a very special version. These, these cars were under cover overnight, so they've actually been left out overnight, and it, it was raining earlier, so the covers prevented them from getting wet. Gotta love the F40. Beautiful condition. And as we move to the back to Nick's house, to the front facade and front gravel area of Nick's, of Nick's home. We've got Aston Martin Ulster, a 1935, another, 19, another Aston Martin Ulster, but 1935. We've got 1935 Aston Martin Ulster. So these are obviously Aston Martins. I don't know too much about Aston Martins, but I'm sure they're very special models. I know it sounds crazy. I mean, if you guys are Aston Martin aficionados, then I apologize, but I just don't know much about the old touch style Aston Martins. We're in Nick Mason's gardens area. Here we've got his SF90, TDF blue, silver calipers. Quite interesting putting silver calipers against the TDF blue. The word is he actually isn't too enamored with his, with his SF90. And here we've got Nick's 599 GTO. Again, I think it's TDF blue. I think Nick Mason loves 
Ferraris in blue. This has been out in the rain. Clearly shown that these cars don't melt in the rain. Here we have Nick's TDF, his F12 TDF. I believe this is in Grigio Silverstone. Didn't even know Nick had a TDF. Great, cool number plate. Pink Floyd 12 for F12 and TDF. Super cool number plate. Views of our channel and of our Instagram will recognize this number plate because we've provided content on this car quite a few times. This is Nick Mason's LaFerrari. And again, in blue, this time blue potsy. And again, testament that these cars do not melt in the rain. Left out overnight for the two day event, rain all over the car. I wonder how many LaFerraris left out in the rain like that. Pretty cool actually because it's blue potsy with with Kuro interior so blue potsy over tan lovely spec so we're going to close out the video now hope you've enjoyed our overview of nick mason's middlewick house car show this runs biannually but it's run for the last couple of years because of covid so it's run successively the last couple of years but generally it runs biannually nick was saying to us earlier that he may move this to a, a either off-site or it may not run in the future because it's got so popular now that it's, it's quite a lot of people that come in and of course it's only narrow rows for access, etc. And at the end of the day, this is his home. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, then give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Plenty of great content to come. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.